Okay folks, this is the final round of the Red Bull Junior Championship. Just waiting on the lights to come on. Three lights, four lights, five lights. Looks like a nice clean start. Slash challenging for that lead. He's got it. No driven slash. to the second corner here, sharp right hand up, and we got some smoke, someone just had a lock up, oh who's this, 42 has lost it, after a good race, previous round, he got third place, I won't be happy with that, not, for, not sure if he just lost the, uh, the back end of that car on his own, See the leaders here slash defending defending that inside. Come on camera switch. <laughs> Scale breaker, the foil is starting to lose the back end, but it's controlled. Oh we've got a spin up. We've got a spin up. Slickers. Slickers lost it. Again, I only caught the tail end of that. Not sure of the full story. We're on board with Rotterdam. Rotterdam will be hoping to get a better result in the previous race. He was having a good race and then he made a couple of errors that cost him two positions from these guys who's ahead of him right now so we'll be seeing these guys as a goal right now try and get by both of them and make it stay that way on the lap I can just see scale breakers start to pull away from Slash it's a good fight from Slash he's trying to defend Down was the back end a little. He did mention on the chat uh, after the previous race that he was messing with the arrow. Putting him all back on. So we shouldn't see as much wriggling around from his car. Unless he's wanted to try it again. But right now, slowly gaining on H78. Coming up to the final two corners. Oh no, he's got wheels on the grass, that's cost him some time. That wasn't part of the plan. Still held it in a straight line though, going wide in that first corner. Skill break in the background there with Slash following. We've got Team White ahead of Team Red. Not the best camera view. We want to see all the action. This is a long race, 26 la uh, laps as opposed to the 13 we had before. Let's hope none of the drivers fall asleep by the end. Lose concentration. Rotterdam currently in 5th, hunting down H78 for 4th place. Well, his teammates trying to catch back up after the uh, 
even off the track. What I've done right behind H78 now he's having a look. Back into the slipstream. Oh, he thought he might be having a dive there. Oh, and he's lost, he's lost grip on the back end. And that's cost him. Come on, black screen. That's cost him some time, and that's allowed his teammate to take that position off him. And that's all that seems to be happening with the uh, Rotterdam every overtake, every time he's lost a position, it's just down to his car just losing a little bit of control. So Team White's getting away here. The red team is uh, I don't know if they're gonna be battling for fifth place. Rotterdam is just going to try and let 42 take him back up to the white cars. Rotterdam taking a little more curve than usual there up on the grass. And he's trying to push that car, keeping up the face 42. Like 42 is catching up and 78. Having a look here, 42 is driving without a visor. 134 miles per hour, hard on the brakes. What we'll do is we'll go on board. Seventy-eight's lost it on his own. Let's see if he can make it back on the track. Didn't want to switch car because of a bloody delay of the screen. I don't know what happened there. His car just snapped off the track. He won't be happy with that. to go yet, anything can happen. You can see the gap here between Savage and 42 and his teammate. place again. So we're crossing the line now to begin lap 7. We'll have a look at the live timings. So 
on the last lap, Savage got a 135.9 and race 42 was uh, a couple of tenths quicker. So if he continues in that rate, he should be gaining on him. I'll keep an eye on that lifetime. In. smoking up the rear wheels that slowed him right down I'm sure he wanted to keep up with 42 taking him all the way up to catch back up with Savage I'm sure H78 won't mind Rotterdam making some more mistakes. Allow him to catch back up. So here we go now. Savage, last lap, 136. Then 42 with a 135. It's a personal best for 42, nearly in the 34s. Take a position, 42 is back in third place. Side by side coming up to the first corner, lap 10. Savage just a little touch in the grass, but he's kept it in control. And as I said before, in these cars, all it takes is one little error, and you'll lose a lot of time 
and usually a possession or two. And Savage looking down the inside. Side by side for the second corner. Well driven by both cars. It looks like no Savage is tucked in behind now. There's two drivers here. That one from third place. Savage just having a quick look down the inside but thinks wise of it. Savage was fighting back for third place, he couldn't get it back but still a long race to go. Thought he was raced well to get back up to third place after that error at the start of the race. Rotterdam looks like he's starting to catch up and Savage after the error. And a little bit of battle in the 42 would have slowed him down. Oh, he's over the green stuff on the first corner. Rotterdam's right up behind him now. Needs to be careful, he's defending that inside. He's staying at the inside, Rotterdam takes the hint, goes to the outside. Rotterdam. Meanwhile race 42 looks like he's getting away from these two. Savage just looked like he's over rotated that car just a little on that corner. Oh Rotterdam took that a little too deep. Car can rotate though. Last two corners. Oh, keep it off that green stuff. Thirty six miles per hour hard on the brakes. Then your third gear now he's right up behind Savage. Rotterdam is just uh, a little too much on the brakes there. Trying not to hit it in the back of Savage. I think he slightly just missed his braking point or didn't uh, uh, didn't account for the slipstream effect. And that's cost him quite a bit of time and he's certainly not going to be happy with that. He had Savage in his sights and now he's... All you can see now is Savage in the distance. But we're approaching the halfway point of this race, so never give up. We'll go on board now with Savage. He'll be happy he doesn't have Rotterdam to think about behind him now. He can fully concentrate on catching race 42 in third position. Meanwhile, have a look here, this is our race leader with a 133.287 as his best lap right now. Oh yeah, it cost him in the lead the scale breaker. Behind him in second place, slash a 134.476 as his best lap. Managed to find his 
way back up to third place. He's raced well in this track, 42. Behind him, Savage. It looks like Rotterdam's uh, catching back up. It looks like the gaps decreased between these cars. Last couple of corners to finish off lap 13. This is where we finished on the last round. The 20 minute race, but we're now on the 40 minute race. Rotterdam to the little wiggle on the exit of the second last corner. past a halfway point and it seems like the battle really is for third and fourth position. It's all about not making any mistakes here. All that hard work goes to waste. Savage. Little wiggle of Savage there on the kerb. Rotterdam slightly touching the green stuff but he's kept it in check. Rotterdam chasing Savage for fourth position. Heading up to turn two. On the brakes, this is where Rotterdam lost all the time before. Lost control of the car hard on the brakes. the line but every time we get at these this line here is uh what I've done right behind Savage. Looks like Savage uh, just has that little bit more pace on the straights unless he just had a better exit out of there. Scary stuff there from Rotterdam over the green stuff. Zero grip. Let's have a look here at the last laps. The Savage did a personal best 135.5, but Rotterdam did do a 135.2. So 
so he was fast up. Oh, Rotterdam just losing the rear tyres there, just for a moment, he's kept it. Rotterdam is slid, no, and he looks like he's heading into the pits by accident. He's managed to keep it on the track. It's very easy to slide the car into the pits and then get forced into the pit lane. And again, that's unfortunate with Rotterdam. Every time he gets so close, he just has just that mistake and it's just cost him all that time. Like I said, you make that little mistake and all the hard work has just gone to waste. He won't be pleased with himself. It's a shame to see. I'm hoping for another good battle between those two drivers. Meanwhile, Savage is still chasing down 42. And like before, he won't have Rotterdam to worry about right behind him. So he can just go all for it to chase down that for that podium position. Kind of steer around that bend, it looks like he's opted for having the car set up just to have a little more over steer. Get that car rotated. Again, lap 18 out of 26. It's the current best lap for Savage is a 135.191. Did do a slightly faster lap than 42 on that last lap there. Get a little bit of air time. I see scale breaker once the screen changes. Previous race winner. It looks like he's out in another comfortable lead in this race. Second position slash out on his own. Looks like a repeat performance by these two, is just like the last race. Getting slightly faster laps than 42. As you can 
Jersey Savage only a few car lengths behind 42 now. Savage looking ahead at 42. Lap 20 out of 26. Running out of laps now. Personal best in that. Second tenths quicker than 42 in the last lap. He's gaining on him. <laughs> That's a little more close than what he wanted there. That's cost him a bit of time. just lost it, he's on the green stuff and slight tap of the barrier, I don't know if that's given him damage or not and that is a shame for Savage he was gaining on 42 and like I said you make one little mistake and it snapped him off uh, a little similar to what his teammate done H78, that's allowed Water Dam in H78 to pass by him Like uh, Savage is heading into the pits. He might have got damage from that tap of the barrier. It is unfortunate to see because he's having a good race. And him 42 looked like you're ready to start battling. And uh, just caught on to that green stuff. Scale breaker finishing lap 21. That'll be slicker in the background in 7. Now 6. way out himself in second position if the screen will allow us to see him. There we are. Race 42. happy he doesn't have Savage all over his mirrors now. Behind him is his teammate Rotterdam in 4th place. And H78 in 5th. Now he's got in 6th. Passing by Savage who's in the pits and it just looks like he's gave up after that accident he had. Go and go over scale breaker for a hot lap round the Red Bull ring.
by skill breaker there. Slash having a little trouble in the second to last corner here. Trying to gather it all together. Oh, a little wobble. Slash in second place now. right up with each other, Rotterdam just many maps correct just, yep, Rotterdam right behind 42 so we'll have a look at this have a look from Rotterdam's point of view these two guys in the same team this is the final round with the last few laps to go and uh, Rotterdam's in with a chance of getting podium 42 got the podium in the previous race, so we'll see how this pans out. Oh, Rotterdam just too hot on the rear tyres. It's his own little mistakes, it's costing him. Just we we're about to see a battle for third place, and now. He's, uh, he's lost all the grip on the tyres. Try to spin it around, keep it out of the, the track. And that's cost him a position. Instead of uh, being able to battle his teammate for third place, he's looking forward to that as well. Just, he's lost all the grip, and he's, his morale will be down. Off the gravel here in the escape road. Is that Slicker will be passing by to nab that position off him? Oh, no, nope, my mistake, that's a skill breaker. <laughs> Breakers cross the line to begin the last lap. So we'll watch Scale Breaker finish off this week, the last lap of the last round, taking away Mr. Breaker. Down the last couple of corners, scale breaker in first position. Takes the win in the final round to the Red Bull Junior Championship. Behind him, second place is Slash, he's been out and he's lonesome. Nice comfortable second place for Slash, looks like. Forty-two gets his uh, second third place it looks like and uh, we'll see the results as the cars roll in to end the Red Bull Championship League so 
thanks everyone for watching and uh, we will watch the results roll in.